Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Injustice 2. I'm going to be showing you how to get from level 1 to level 20 with the character in about 30 minutes. Starting off from the main menu, go to your extras, go to your options, gameplay settings, and then select a round time of 300, which is the maximum, and the rounds to win to 1, which is the minimum. You'll be doing the fights as fast as possible by only needing to do one round, and you get more XP for the amount of time left on the clock, so you want a maximum amount. Then the fastest method will require you to have two controllers. Go to Versus and play against your other controller. Feel free to continue without saving and that'll actually make it easier for you because this AI will remain level one. After selecting your characters, I recommend going up against Superman as he has low HP. Make sure both of you press match options and turn off the level handicap and probably turn off the area transitions just to be safe. I like to do this on Gorilla City, but any map will do as long as it's short and you know exactly what you're doing when you get into the fight. Once inside the fight, you have to learn two moves very well. The first one is forward and heavy in order to cause an overhead attack and make them bounce, which will let you do a juggle. The second move to continue the juggle should be back and A in order to do a heavy punch forward. Also, don't forget to incorporate the meter burn here. It will allow you to do a lot more damage a lot more quickly. Now, if you get this down to a T, you can do a full fight in about 15 to 16 seconds, as you'll see on screen here, including all of the loading times, which means you can do this about four times per minute. Now, you need to do about 100 fights in order to get enough XP to get your character to level 20. Doing a little bit of simple math, it should take you around 25 minutes if you were to do every fight perfectly, but because you won't, let's round it up to about 30 to 40 minutes. And you just keep doing this over and over and over again until you eventually cap out at level 20 which should take you again around only 30 minutes. Now for the XP you'll be rewarded, you'll be rewarded a normal amount of XP for completing the match, that's usually 50, a normal amount for winning the match, and then amount extra for having a certain amount of time on the clock. This all adds up. I would also recommend that you put on any equipment onto your character that will allow you to get extra character XP or make you fight better. Doing this repeatedly will also help you get a lot of flawless victory bonuses, which will also help improve your overall player level. Now, let's say you want to get in on the fast leveling action, but you don't have a second controller. There is another method, although it takes a little bit longer, obviously, and that would be to create a single fight against a very easy AI and make sure that AI is set to level one by pressing Y or the options button in the character select screen when you're picking your opponent. Then you should be able to do more or less the same thing against the AI as you did against the second controller, although occasionally they'll try to clash against you or hit you with an attack, so fights will naturally take a little bit longer. I got my fights down to as little as 10 seconds in game. Because fighting against AI will essentially double the time per fight, you can imagine that doing a character from level 1 to 20 using this method could take about an hour for each character. Now I found that this method works equally against almost all of the AIs, but a lot of people on the internet are recommending that you use Swamp Thing for this as he seems to be one of the slowest characters and therefore you should be able to chain a lot of attacks on him. Also, if you focus only using heavies, the chance that he clashes against you and wastes about 10 seconds of your time is very little, so make sure you use those heavy attacks well. Last but not least, you can also set an AI loadout in the character customization menu and use that AI to play multiverse. It'll basically play the game for you. This is a lot easier, but takes a lot longer, but you might be able to squeeze a little bit out of this for some other achievements along the way, which might make it worth your while. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share this video with a friend. Hopefully this helps you guys with the Master of All Trades achievement slash trophy as well. You'll be able to get all of the characters leveled up to level 20 in under 15 hours using the first method. Again, special thanks to Drop That Artemis and hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.